Hello guys, here it is. Today's vlog we're going to discuss about the parts of speech. There are nouns, pronouns, interjection, verb, preposition, conjunction, the adjective, adverb, and the terminal. So in today's video we're going to discuss each functions and its parts. Now the first one is noun. What is noun? Noun is the name of thing, place, or person. Examples. Teacher, pen, dog, church. Example of sentences. The teacher teaches the lesson in school. I use pen in school. This is my dog. I went to church every Sunday. The read one here are all noun. Examples of noun. There are kinds of noun. The first kind of noun is common noun. What is common noun? A common noun is a noun that refers to people, thing, or place in general. So the boy, the country, the bridge, the city, and birth are examples of common noun. This signifies that this is a common term or the general term of a noun. The next is the proper noun. Now what is proper noun? Proper noun is a new name that identifies a particular person, place, or thing. In written English, proper noun begins with the capital letters. So here, the example seven, Africa, London, Monday, Scientific Medical Center. Those are the examples of proper noun. The third is the concrete noun. A concrete noun is a noun that refers to people and the things that exist physically and can be seen, touched, smelled, heard, or tasted. These are the examples of concrete noun. The dog, the building, the coffee the tree and the rain. These are all concrete nouns because it can be seen, touched, and smelled, food or tasted. The next kind of noun is the abstract noun. An abstract noun is a noun that refers to ideas and qualities and condition and these, these things that cannot be seen or touched and the things which know physical reality. For example, the truth, the danger, the happiness, the time, friendship, and humor. These are all abstract and it cannot be seen or touched. So, so the next is the collective noun. The collective noun refers to groups or things. For example, the audience, the family, the team, the jury, and the government. In American English, most collective nouns are treated as singular with a singular verb. So, for example, the whole family was at the table. But in British English, the preceding seems to be correct, but it will also be called treat the collective noun as plural form with a plural verb, like this. So the next kind is count noun and mass noun. A count noun are those that refers to something that can be counted. The mass nouns are or accountable nouns do not refer to things that can be counted, and so they do not have a plural form. Examples for these are people, cars, trees, coffee, rice, planes, and hair. So these are all mass nouns. So thank you guys for watching and my videos. Have a blissful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and updates.